take a live look at Sacramento International Airport tonight. We've been talking about this a lot because there's some big news coming out of this Memorial Day weekend. Millions of Americans boarding their flights, getting ready to take off for the holiday near record numbers. But did you know it's estimated the fear of flying impacts more than 40% of the U.S. population? Almost half of us have a fear of flying and turbulence can often make that fear even worse, especially after some of the reports that we've seen recently. So what exactly is turbulence? What causes it? How dangerous is it? Here is the answer. If you've flown before, you're certainly familiar with the sudden jolt that comes when a plane hits turbulence. It can move the plane and sometimes cause rapid change in altitude. And the reason all comes down to this, the disruption of airflow over the wing. When the wing of an aircraft generates more lift than gravity, the plane climbs. When it's balanced, it cruises along on a smooth journey. Our chief meteorologist, Nick Marianos, is also a pilot. He says turbulence happens when that balance is disrupted, something that's caused when there's a sudden shift in wind speed or direction. The most violent turbulence happens in large storm clouds from powerful updrafts and downdrafts. Now pilots, they do what they can to avoid those rough air Areas, knowing it can cause issues when flying through. Another type of turbulence, and this one much harder to detect, is called clear air turbulence because you can't see it coming. Clear air turbulence usually happens above 15,000 feet and is caused by wind shear, usually due to the difference in wind speed between the jet stream and surrounding air. So how worried should you be when your plane hits turbulence? Aircrafts, well, they're actually designed to take the worst that turbulence can throw at them. And it's unlikely turbulence will ever destroy an aircraft. In extreme cases, turbulence can be dangerous to passengers, but with thousands of flights that take off each day, injuries and death are extremely rare. Crews, they are trained specifically in how to respond to turbulence and pilots get specific aviation forecasts before they fly, which helps them plan and avoid storms or slow the plane down to lessen its impact. And that's the answer.